What's up, ladies? Bolton, how you doing, man? Uh, just felt like doing a quick live here. I don't know. We'll see how long I got. But got a lot going on on the farm. Playing on No Creek here. Hey, Sam. Come on. Straighten out. There we go. Colton, this is uh, for ear corn, or not ear corn, CCM. Um, with Maze Plus, it says cornmeal and all that, but pretty much just chopping the corn ears. I need to get some for my cows anyways. Miss them. I've been pretty good, Colton. How about you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good news, Colton. Go home, take care of a few things. Relax. Hey, Carl, how you doing, man? Oh, it did get the with. Sweet. I don't know if I'm going to chop any corn, but we'll see. Right, Sam? I don't know why, but I'm enjoying this map, like, way more than I have any map in a long time, so... I'm not sure. Come on, come back. There we go. I got you, Colton. Not a bad thing. Do, 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 do. That tractor's obviously not fine in the combine, so we'll, let's see here once. I got, okay. He did find it then. Tractor's set on auto drive, so he should be unloading that uh, combine for me. that. Now where's the combine? I like, yeah. It is soybeans. Never mind. You're not wrong there, Colton. Not one bit. So I got the earlage going on here, which these fields are so small, I'm going to have to do them myself. Of course, play won't be able to figure it out. It would take longer to watch course play do it than me to do it myself. 
And then course plays doing the soybeans over there with the auto drive catching them. I will have to go take care of auto drive since I have an auger set to the bends. Pain in the butt to move the auger in the perfect spot every time. So I'll go back and forth kind of doing that. And then I also got some uh, cornstalk bales. I was making them myself too. Just to hurry up and get the stalks off the field so I can start chisel plowing them. We are in the end of October already. I'm running this one pretty hard. Uh, as in three day months at three times speed. And I'm trying not to divert from the three times speed, but man, am I running out of time. <laughs> right, Sam? Everything's expensive. Hook to a step deck. That sounds fun. What kind of loads you get in Colton? Anything interesting? Couple oversized. <laughs> inflation, Sam. Inflation, man. It is just terrible right now. Got to pay for that freight no matter where it comes from. I got you, Colton. doesn't sound cool Sam I've never been into it <clears throat> never did bailing in real life I've always helped put them up in the hay mound it seems like but uh as far as maintenance on a baler or even round baler I have no idea Make the big bucks again, right, Colton? You know, just thinking about it, I don't have any other tractors available to pull this wagon back home and grab the other one. Huh. Don't have enough money to even buy another one, so that ain't happening. Yeah, Sam, uh, tired and JCL are doing up uh, more combine heads for their combines, which is great. I think we need a few from the errors of the combines are from actually, rather than playing with all this other stuff all the time. But uh, I got to look at Jaden's or JCL's combines and heads so far, and let me tell you. Yeah, we needed them. 
And then, uh, we'll see when they come out for everybody. JCL's slightly testing some. Nothing is ready for release for sure. What's that, Colton? Seacorn through the AGI pack that they released. I don't know the council side, but through that pack, you have an option to make your own seed. I don't think they will do the individual types of seed, like seed corn, soybean seeds, and all that, because it adds so many more fill types and clusters up the game on the back end that you guys don't notice. So. <clears throat> Whenever I've added all those different types of seeds, then you gotta decide which types of seeds. Then you gotta cycle them on your corn planters and everything. Oh, yeah. That's what you meant, the actual seed corn side of it. Harvesting and farming it. You know, half of the stuff's already there, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Sam, that they missed that one on uh, <clears throat> the Seasons mod from 17 and 19. But I also know Giants has thought of that. If hay would just dry in a day or two, who would actually use a tether? Then why would they even need to sell their hay, hay, uh, hay pack there? <laughs> the DLC that just came out. I didn't get the DLC. I don't see anything in it that I wanted or needed. Oh, come on, make it to the other end. I didn't even realize how full I was. Oh, we're going to make it. Perfect. The one thing I think I really want if we were to uh, get a new game, the crops need to follow you on your rows that you run or that you plant. Alright, I gotta finish this one real quick. We'll get back to the farm and take care of all that then. But, like, uh... When you plant corn and go around the corner, the rows need to follow you. That's, like, the last thing I absolutely want in this game. Otherwise, 22 is great. I'm good with 22 the way it sits. And I do have tint on this tractor, so it is a little difficult to see, but bear with me. American dragline units. Oh, oh, yeah. For uh, for the manure. Sorry, you caught me off guard with dragline. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Like, uh, no modder has made them. Where am I at? Alright. There you go, Colton. Step into it a bit. Figure it out. And before you know it, you'll uh, you'll have it figured out. And it'll become pretty easy to you. I always like seeing new modders come about. Everybody has a different taste, style, and what they like to do.
I'm up for that, Colton. Testing is very important, and that is the one thing I kind of messed up on this map. <laughs> I forgot to test a few things and had to throw an update out right away, but... I think it's all fixed, I think. I haven't heard anything today on it, so... Um, I agree with you, Colton. You're definitely going to need Maya or Blender. And you're going to have to learn that side of modding also. In order to do, like, vehicle mods, you're going to definitely need Blender or Maya. And that's something I even got to learn yet, too. Because then I can design farms exactly how I want it and get the buildings exactly how I want it. But everybody I've ever talked to, they said you learn Blender, you'll never get out of it. So that's like one reason why I keep procrastinating it. I don't think I have my shaders right set right, to tell you the truth. Otherwise it won't be that bad for this window tent, but I'm making it right now. Oh nice Colton. Ah, oh, really? That was a fail. Trying to see if this Raptor Bailey rule destroy the stalks, but I don't think they do. Hmm. <laughs> you gotta put somebody in it, Colton. You can't drive two at once. Unless you're selling the one you got. Should be able to get one more out of this field. The body eleven corn stalk fails. Not bad. I got a big field left corn and a small field left of corn. No, one uh the big field's the only one left of corn. And then I got a small field to bale yet. But I know I'm gonna get a lot of bales out of it. Oh get the deer. Get the deer. Come here. Oh, got one. Oh, those are running for a long ways outside of the trees. I've never really, like, chased them down to see how far they actually go. Well, if you can find another driver easy, that's not a bad deal to have three trucks running. Texture lines up so freaking close.
No, you didn't. Not going to get enough to finish this out, but I got another field of it. I also got to get my alfalfa mode down so I can do some more uh, silage. Where's that driveway? There we go. Get out of the trees. I can see a little bit better. Holy crap. So on the left is the alfalfa. On the right is grass. I'll probably be doing... I got grass there now, so that means I have to do grass. So I have to do the field on the right to chop it. I'll fill up the silage bag, and then I'll probably switch over. Belt trailers? You're going to run the belt trailers? What's the best part then? <laughs> I was wondering if it was something like that. I got to get rid of that little John Deere 7000 planter. I decided to, I need a 12 row, put it that way. I think I'm going to buy the Cyclone, Cyclo of Roosters and run that for a bit here. We want to keep it old school. This is about the newest thing I have right now is actually the MX, which I still want my box car at some point, but box car is just going to have to wait until uh, it comes on sale or something. And then as far as my CCM goes, we are going to throw that right over here. Bagger's already up. It's on a weird little angle because the tractor's on the lower level than the bagger, but once I disconnect the tractor from it, it'll be just fine. Ooh, that looks good. Er, that sounds awesome, Colton. Is this the little? No, I bought two big ones. Okay. And my shaders are way too bright, dude. Have to tint the windows on all my equipment.
and I'm going to be mowing in November. I don't think I'm going to get everything done here in time. Yes, it is about 27 tons. Oh wow, Colton, that's a that sounds like a decent deal. Oops, click the wrong button. Now I gotta go hunting for that tractor. See what's wrong with that combine. All right, we're good. Combine's missing a bit. I think the horse play thought it was a little wider. Yeah, I'm not redoing the course, so we're just gonna have to suffer through it. mess with the grass height too much there uh, Dylan um, open the map i3d and notepad plus plus and double check the path for the grass XML And I also thought you had to do something in the fruit types XML. I can't remember. Because I don't mess with the grass height.
Yeah, Dylan, your uh, map I3D will always hold all the file paths to all of your crops and everything through the XML and all that. So <clears throat> usually if I struggle trying to find something in the map uh, folder, I will open the map I3D and search for it, and it'll eventually give me the XML file path. And then if it is base game, the dollar sign data, and looks off your data folder, then what you do is you go into your game files, rip that file out of there, change the path in the map I3D to where you're putting that file, and boom, you got one that is like, uh, you got one that you can edit so you're not messing with the game files. Hey Benny, just messing around playing man, what are you doing? Oh, there you go, Colton. You just got money burning in your pocket, don't you? That was a big dip. These trees are awful close to the field, so we'll see if we get stuck on any. See, that's what I mean. If we had the crops actually following the planter, you'd be able to follow it right around and never get lost on where the edge is. Tree, literally right there. Didn't realize that. Ah, uh, the wagon hung me up. Can't see. Might have to just get the chainsaw out and trim a couple branches. <laughs> Got you good, Benny. <laughs> uh, tree branch again, right? Yep, on the wagon this time. Getting a little messy back here. Oh, come on. Sacrifice a little corn. I already dipped the, or ripped the damn roof off the wagon, so I guess what's the matter? That's the only downfall about these. Oh, 
I got buttons are too dang sensitive. But it's only downfall about having trees this close to the um, field. And I think they need to be lifted up just a smidge. Or you gotta just... Uh, just gotta go and cut them off. Hey, Joe. It has been a while. That's why I was sitting here thinking, should I just record a video? Should I do a live stream? I didn't know what to do, so yeah. Live stream it was. I might get in trouble for having this song play though. Ah, uh, that stupid wagon hangs the rear end up all the time when you turn too sharp. And now I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. At least I'm not fast farming. Oh, you probably, you guys are probably hearing more of the chopper than the music. Anybody else want to weigh in on that? You guys hearing it, or is it just Benny? Because my game volume and stuff's turned up pretty loud. I don't want to turn it up much louder. Because then it gets uh, overpowering. That's kind of what I wanted pickaxe is not to really be able to hear the music except for when it goes silent. Which I'm good with. I've been good. Sorry, right, Benny. Maybe I'm running a little quiet too, but I start messing with that. I never get it set back right. You able to understand me pretty good though, Benny, or? Oh, wagon starting to turn. That wagon is driving me nuts. Come on. Play nice.
small fields irritate it. I forgot how very little TCM I get off of these, which I don't want to turn it up any, because it really doesn't fill up the wagons fast, but then again, I don't need much either. I got it set really low on my feeding, so... I know I'm going to get hung up on the wagon making that sharp turn, but we'll give it a shot. Yep, there it is. Stupid wagon. I guess we'll just come back over here. Nailed it. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Got it. This way seems to be easier to go anyways, so keep her going. Am I going to have one row left? Oof, that was close. Let's see, combine going to get it figured out? Maybe? Alright, course play got it figured out. It should tell me the yield. Yeah, it does. Alright, let's see. We are on the yield. Cornfield is doing okay, not great. The beans look pretty good. The other two little cornfields did crap. The oats did crap, and the grass harvested all right. So I might actually make some money this year, which I do have to go and sell those oats yet. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's why, because I get to the max rotation of the wagon, and then it won't let the tongue turn anymore to bring it back around icy. Mm, 
this one? Yeah. Getting a row off. This one. I thought for sure auto drive did up the full notification when it meets it meets the point. Hmm. Actually missing quite a bit of soybeans. And that's an in-game platform head. I don't know why it's missing so much. All right, good enough for me. What the heck? Add it in neutral and starting up, it just wanted to take off. Good old farm sim transmissions. Alright, close enough. We'll just run the good old auto steer. It sections me out so I know where to go. When I turn around, I know where to go. Shouldn't get a row of shame, but I'm probably going to have a few. Yep. I figured I was a little off. You guys are going to have to remind me when we get to back to my farmyard. I did get my bends working to dry corn down with the dry corn add-on, so that one's going to be really fun. Stupid trailer. There we go. It's just the combination of the trailer and the chopper. Gotta stop turning so sharp. Oh wow, go wide open with this combine head, did not know that. <laughs> mm. I didn't even do that on purpose.
this one's gonna be a tight turn. I guess we'll just clean these up. Who wants to put the money on it? Is this all gonna fit in the wagon? 91% full. Got the short rows left. I don't know. <laughs> fair bunny, fair. If I stop missing them. No! Wagon's doing its thing again. Come on, straighten out. Gonna do it right there. Usually I got way more room than this to turn it around, but... No, it's, it's really not. <laughs> it's just one of them days. said and done. We'll take this one back to the farmyard with the shopper. I do owe you a dollar. Hey Hunt Games, what's up man? This hill might be a little much for this little guy. <laughs> Have fun Benny. Gotta love making decals.
I just forgot. I got that big grassland area that I can do up to, so I no longer need this chopper. I can send it back. It can stop draining my bank account. And we'll use the pull type for the grass. Oh, that's on already. Sweet. I just like the guy trying to shift, watching the guy try to shift this. That's like perfect. Good old IH shifting. So here's my grain bin that dries. That one has soybeans in it because I was testing this one. Still got the same. I better close that. We're not on corn. And then management point. What is missing? Corn is missing. So that dries pretty quick. Yeah. So we are golden there, and it does bring up the other fill types as of right now. I haven't made it so it's just straight corn. I might, I might not. Because I like to have options with my grain bends too. Mmm, I got something in the way right there. We'll bring it back around by the chopper. Let that corn dry out in the field a little longer. Another couple days. Not burn up so much gas. Only thing I can't figure out with J, uh, JCL's tractor is why auto drive won't take it out of H2, which I know there's a few other people saying it won't shift past high two. Well, she only burns about eight mile an hour. I really like the tractor. I want to keep it around. But I don't know. Where are you going? There you go. It's freaking out, man. Because <laughs> it acts like an auger wagon.
now that I thought about it, we're sitting pretty good on food for the cows. Especially since they have all that uh, pasture to go in. My only complaint is I got to wait until 28 months for cows to start producing milk. Then I'll make a lot of money off it. But till then, I'm broke. I like that picture. Give me a second, guys. What? Go away. There. Uh, she's got to be about done, right? Dang, she's slow. this one. Yeah. Or the all right, here we go. So then I need to get hooked back up to that other silage bag. I know it's kind of unrealistic, but I'm doing it this way. Finish this one out. And then I got to find a place for another one, which I don't really know where. Because these two more than likely will not get me into spring. Come on, crank her around. There we go. Oh. Somewhat works. We're going to leave it that way. Shut that one off. I like this little tractor a lot. It's a loud one, I know. But as far as being my little farmyard tractor, it is awesome. That's a little excessive there, Dylan. <laughs> Glad you got it, man. Should have leveled the area out, I guess, before I put the bag there, but... It is what it is. So this field out here is going to be a little challenging, and I haven't done anything out in this field. If I remember correctly, that gate's supposed to swing 
See, this gate is supposed to swing all the way over to this block so you could technically lock all your cows in and then do whatever you wanted to do out here. But I guess that's not the way he's got it set up. That was like the little things I always kept forgetting to check. Um, bingo. So I know to get across the terraces. Which I'm a, I know I'm outside of the field, but I'm gonna run with it over this way. I gotta get my first rows done. I kind of outline everything and see where those terraces are. Then I can figure out how I'm going to do the rest. Oh, that's a big ravine. Dylan, it's because this field is actually um, set up for the cow's pasture. So therefore, if you use the grazing mod, um, this is set to grass short? Yeah. So if you use the grazing mod, this is actually the field the cows eat off of. So with me mowing it, I'll probably take the cow's food away, but I plan on doing TMR for him. I think for my personal personal edit, I'm probably going to pull the pasture away from the free stall and set it up a little different, but at the same time, I'm like, no, it is realistic with kicking them out to the pasture and you still feed them and everything. So I'm kind of torn in between like what to do there. But yeah, you can see that line right there. That would be your foliage area for the animal pen. These terraces aren't really that bad either. I thought they'd be a bit more aggressive. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Someday, I'll get to a nice uh, three-piece mower. Just a little dairy farmer right now with some crops on the side.
That is a good ravine. Wow. Ah, uh, just missed it a bit. Thought I had it. Dang. Trying to figure out my right gearing so I can click her down into medium when I come back around to turn around. And then high for when I'm mowing. But the gearing ain't quite right for my liking. Oops, wrong button. I better figure out how I'm going to actually rake this one. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to chop.
Um, Dylan for the for the grazing mod to see something. The animal pen has to have a foliage area in it. And it needs to be grass short, grass medium, or metal in order for the grazing mod to read it as food for cows. So therefore, if you place a pen down that has foliage area, it should work. Now, if I'm thinking right, which doesn't happen very often, if you see grass when you put down a uh, animal pen, if it shows the grass foliage, it should work for the grazing mod. Now, if you paint grass down, that's a different story. That won't work unless it's inside the foliage areas of the pen. Oh boy, she gets steep on this side. Cranking that hitch right around on the mower. <laughs> Dylan, you got rid of the terraces? What? I'm good, Alex. How are you? What you got, Alex? I'm always nervous. <laughs> Whatever, Dylan. You do you, man. Nobody's here to stop you. I just got to give you crap for it. The, in my opinion, I like maps that have character. Not just the paintable foliage, not just the details and the deco foliage, but also the character in the terrain itself. And that's why I enjoy this map so much. It's not just a smooth f field or a smooth field on a hillside. <laughs> That's a good one, Alex. Oof. Oh, uh, that's 
switch that. Oh yeah, gotta change the group, not the gear. Fair enough, Colton. Uh, Alex, I'd have to say rock. Rock and roll. If I had to pick one. I listen to dang near anything, though. Interesting, Dill. I've never been out there. <laughs> Show you everything.
I know, Colton, that was a joke towards Legacy. Fucking troll. Over there, just lurking. Non-stop. <laughs> Listening to my dad. reading too much, not paying attention to where I'm going. Oh, dang, Dylan. I didn't realize that. Um, there's a couple, there's several different ways you can do the DEM. I haven't learned the Python scripting type way yet, but I know this map wasn't made with it. He did this one by hand, got a map from something, brought it into GE, and replace, changed the elevation by replace level by level, and then smoothed it out and put all the detail back in. So. Just about to go chopping. Well, I should say raking. Gotta rake this one first. Because I'm not going to follow these with a uh, chopper. I like it, Alex. It got me back into playing farm some. I hope everyone else is enjoying it too. Good to hear. I guess I'm not following you when you say that, Dylan. What do you mean different numbers?
Yeah, it doesn't take much to change the elevation. I know that. Get out of the way, cows. Coming through. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about closing fences. Gonna have to change your name to Dad Jokes. Alright, where are these guys? Wow. Just about. How much longer? Fit it in, about 48 minutes. Perfect. You need to move. That is annoying though. I missed that. That's annoying. Yeah, I get that one, Dylan. Um, be careful. That's all I can say. You do all that work and have giant hills, before you know it, nothing even works in Farm Sim because the physics in the game are not like real life. And you can't pull anything up and down those hills. All I gotta tell you, because I was there too working on a map. I thought it was gonna be awesome with the hills. Then I realized even a quad track couldn't pull it. <laughs> there you go. Miss some like normal. Yeah. 
Ah, I got you, Dylan. The other thing is, um, you can make it however you want, and if you come and find out that it's too big, you can go into paint.net and adjust it with the grayscale. That does work. But just don't get too far on the map, as in, like, placing buildings and everything down before you actually test it, if it will pull it or not. Oh, man. Yeah, that's exactly what I do, Dylan. What's up, Roger? Oh yeah, Jake. Small farming. I got a few big tractors. No, I got one big tractor. Take that back. <laughs> Oh, smoother. I thought it's smaller. <laughs> wow, can't even read today. Yeah. It helps when you uh, got an optimized map, too. Um, Dylan, that one's hard. A lot of the Facebook groups have kind of died out, besides sharing stuff. As far as Discord goes, jumping to Nez's, that is like the one I'm still in sometimes. 
but there's a lot of good mappers in there to help out also. And I don't really get around to the community a whole lot. So I don't know who or where else to tell you to go, but... Hey KJ, how you doing? What'd you do now, Colton? Ooh, boy. That's a big jump. Don't know what to tell you there, Colton. It's really been a year already, Brucker. Hey, Pleasant. You're hearing crap. I don't know. Well, pretty much, Colton. I won't be running empty. Dang, man. been a long time.
Not much pleasant, just messing around. Fair enough. <laughs> the DOT can F off, Colton. Yeah, Jake, I seen that. Uh, Tired's got his combines looking mint. Coming around, man. I'm excited. The field's going to be the death of me. I'm not doing this field again, I can tell you guys that. I'll just let the cows graze on it. advise you not to pleasant but it'd be funny or Colton I mean sorry Colton no chicken feed just wheat that's all you gotta feed them are you using Maze Plus or Base Game? That'd be the question. Yeah, Landry, I'm super excited for the combines. KJ, standard size map, but it is not overpopulated with a town and a crap ton of productions and uh, huge multiple cell points and everything. It is literally one farm with one tiny cell point, like maybe the size of your farm. Buy point, cell point, all on one. So the map just feels absolutely huge. And there's so many little nooks and crannies that you're going to get lost in. It's... I mean, I might be a fanboy for this one. I know the work he put into it and how long it takes to do the stuff he did, but this is one of the all-time great maps, and there's, I mean, out of Farm Sim and the ones I remember playing, this is definitely my, one of my top five. because you are on a standard size map and anybody could play it if they wanted to. Oh, I'm going to do alfalfa. I'll get rid of that tether. I don't need that anymore. Come on, there it is. Not paying attention again, trying to read the chat, trying to back in. Oh, man. Alright. Let's put this one back where she belongs. Oh, I gotta wash it. We'll wash it first. Later. This guy's gotta get unloaded. I like the name Colton, 
but I'm not one to name trucks or vehicles or anything, so I don't get into it. Oh, I get it, Dylan. I fully understand, but I left it original. <laughs> Personal preferences. You make a map, you'll never please everybody. So, why try? Please yourself and go from there. Oh, pleasant. I guess just run with it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, what the heck. Is that? Yeah, shouldn't be full. It got moved a little bit the last time I took the tractor out. Yes, it did. Colton, just get a little laptop. Sell the sell the truck, get a little laptop, and you'll be fine. No, Dylan, uh, we haven't discussed anything about another project slash mod or whatnot. And with work. Right now, I kind of just want to play. I don't want to get involved in a map, because when I start working on a map, it just consumes my life. I just dive down deep in a hole, keep going on it, otherwise nothing happens. Hey, Brian, thanks for the sub, man. Um, Brian, there are gates all over that they get in pastures and everything, but, uh the game they have to stay in the pasture they're at in order to collect the milk I do not move them around I do not nothing none of that they're stuck on a nav mesh so it's far from realistic that I didn't dive into it that deep I I don't really care that much about it because uh, otherwise everybody would be stuck moving the animals around and then you miss out on the milk because it's not realistic that you only collect milk at a certain time Oh, I know, Dylan. No worries, man. I, I take the crap that I dish out. Uh, <laughs> all right, Brucker. I, I'm not going to go deep into um, what the, what was the abbreviation he did for Autumn Oaks. I got my Maze Plus, and I like Maze Plus. But I'm not going to dive deep to like calves and milk replacer and stuff. Oh, I got you, Brocker. Um, Brian, you're talking about the, not in the pasture I'm in. Well, this pasture does have a hay feeder in it, and this is automatically through the animal pen itself. Okay, why won't it register the wagon? 
But then the other one that has the... Oh god. Collisions. Then the other one that has the hay feeder in it, there's an animal by point right at the gate. There's also a trigger there too. No, oh, quit it. Alright, now I unfolded the pipe how many times? Thanks, game. Now we're good to go. There you go, that's the abbreviation I was looking for, Brucker. With enhanced view or with enhanced animals on here, you get the calves. Like I'm waiting for my cows to start producing milk and get me some calves. I'd like to get some calf huts that have their own animal pen that hold only one. It'd be really simple to do, which I need to tell Tyson that too. Really simple to do your calves and milk replacer. Hmm. That's got me thinking now. It ain't a beef area, Jake. <laughs> it, it's an old school dairy farm that used to turn the cows out to pasture. When uh, and then you'd bring them into milk, and they get fed bales or a little bit of TMR here and there. I worked on a farm like this back in high school, and I really enjoyed it. But they had a stanchion barn milking out of. And that's the only part I didn't enjoy. But yeah, I I thought about it. I thought about getting rid of the cow barn up there, putting something else in the way. I know other people already have. I just don't know what I'd put there. I got you. All right, let's get this thing done with. Since auto drive won't take it over eight mile an hour. Okay, it doesn't destroy crops. We're golden. I don't know, Pleasant. Uh, I don't think so. I never put his in here on purpose. Let me put it that way to you. Are they? You guys tell me. Ooh, that sounds fun, Jake. Um, Brian, give me a second. Let me get this combine unloaded and I'll show you.
I wish there was a little bit more green taken off. I mean, I could deal with one level of green, but come on. There shouldn't be really much green left on soybeans when you harvest them. I really don't feel like tearing up sieves all the time either. Uh, Jaden. All right. So as far as Brian goes, it is something like this. Down here, field one. Forget why that X is there. Boom. Right here, Brian, this entire field is a pasture. You can mow it. They will eat off it. Whatever you want to do. Right here is your feed trigger, bale trigger. So with that being said, you can give the cows some feed through the winter also. And right here, oh come on. You're going to pull this one on me, right? Where'd it go? I got too much junk for scripts on here. The gate used to work. Cute. I broke something, guys. Oh, wait. I didn't break something. <laughs> Alright, in order to use this farm, or this pasture, in order to use it before it even pops up, you have to buy the land. Oh, I pulled a noob move. So you buy farmland 29. A little icon will pop up here for cows. You will buy, um, I could probably do it here really easy without wasting a bunch of money and ruining my save. Before I break something, let me save. Uh, da 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 da. Farmlands. Mine. Nine. There we go. Alright. So I bought, bought Farmland 29. Shows you guys pasture. Here's the little icon that comes up. You pop in. That's where it was. Whatever. Then you come up here. And you can buy. Or sell. Now, this one's really bothering me. Does the gate work yet? No, it doesn't. I'll figure that one out too, guys. It used to work for me, no problem. I thought it was on the farmland. Guess not. Saw that. No money transferred. And we are golden. Oh, hey. This is the only tractor I got to pull that wagon. Hmm. That sucks. Is there anything in the store? Nothing that I'm going to use. Well, you know what that means, ladies. They are gone. It is time to do it up. Good, good, good. Dang it. All right. I guess I'm stuck with it. Where's my wide? There's the wide. Of course, fenders. No logo. No. Yep. 
Uh, nope. Wait, that was in there, wasn't it? No loader brackets down here. Nope. Yep. No license plate. Oh. We'll always turn her up later. All the money I got, and I'm not getting a loan out right now. There we go. Now we're back to normal, ladies. I needed a bigger tractor. <laughs> we are moving up in the world. Finally got my boxcar back. No problem, Brian. Brian. Happens to the best of us, as you can see. All oh, Brucker, come on now, man. I was trying to stay small. <laughs> but every time I go to a small farm, it's kind of funny. They got a huge amount of tractors and never have enough people. No, it's not, bud. Uh, PC only. It's not my map to put on Giants, nor am I going to go through uh, HE double hockey sticks to get it on console. I'm, I'm not dealing with Giants. The whole reason I'm not a Giants partner yet, I just don't like dealing with them. I will think about doing stuff when I see what they plan for the next game. I really do not want a new game. I just want a few new features. Okay, I guess she's going to struggle getting out of here, too. I'm glad I didn't buy the two-wheel drive one. Oh, no worries, Brian. Okay, why does that guy keep retracting his messages? That's what keeps messing me up in the chat. Just leave them up there, dude. If you're ashamed of them, I won't put them up there. That's the way I always look at it. Oh, what? The f Where is that other tractor?
This stretch is like perfect for catching the combine, dude. Nice. I like it. What needs to be updated, Cody? No. Oh man, I just did a good one. Struggle bus. There it is. Hello. Alright, let's go. TML, I really... I don't know if those are Ju Juku's uh, textures or not. I don't know what was actually put in here. I'll have to go double check later. Lights and logos don't show up on the cow barn. You're talking the main farm, Cody, or are you talking the one at the dealer? I guess I never really did hunt down the lights a whole lot. Okay, I'll have to check that. Not all of them. Are probably even set to be working would be my thought on it my biggest thing is Cody there's a mod out there that you could just place down your farm lights the farmyard lights I'd rather see you guys not have to start a new save to get the features so therefore if it requires a new save If it requires a new save, I'd rather not do it. So you're saying you can't pull the milk out of the main farm, main barn? There ain't much I don't like about it, man. This, this, like I said, one of my favorite maps of all times. Only thing I'd change around is the... I wish I could redo those buildings up to par for 22 myself, but my blender's not there. <laughs> hey, old iron. Yeah, but Cody... Do you have milk in the pen when it you pull it up in the if it's your first time 
open the start menu, look at your cows, do you have milk, first of all? If you do, great. Now, there might not be icons to tell you where to get the milk and stuff from, so... I guess I never play with my icons on. I don't even test the icons, which maybe I should. But that's one thing I always forget to turn back on because I never play with them. Uh, where did it? I want to say the milk trigger was by that tree, right? By the bend? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Get over it. Nope, not gonna happen. We'll just let it roll down the hill. Thanks, old Iron Man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Elk trigger should be right there, if I remember correctly. I'll have to do a little testing here in a bit. Rather not butter my stream with nothing but testing, but if I have to, Cody, I will do an update to the game. Anything with that anim animal pen won't require a new save. For the most part. But that's the first time anybody told me they had issues with the milk trigger. Do I, uh, does that mean I'll put in the icons? Probably not. And I don't plan on doing the AI crap to it either. Because I don't use that. And giant stuff sucks. For the most part, I'd like to move on from this map. Um, modding this map, I should say. I want to get my own map done that I had in 19, move to 22. I'd like to actually finish it. But, Cody, that still doesn't answer, do you have milk in the animal pen? If you don't have milk in there, you can't pull milk out of there. That fence post came up real quick. Oh god, let me double check this once quick, guys. He's got me f f thinking about it now. There it is. Uh, da -da -da -da. Storage node. Milk. Milk trigger seven zero. Yep. Because there's no icon there. That's all. There's no reason it shouldn't be there, Cody. So.
Wow, she got dark quick. Alright, thanks DC. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for confirming that. then. Combine can wait a little bit. <laughs> nah, Brucker. I just, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I played the crap out of it this weekend, but I don't see any time I'll have during the week to jump on and play on it, even an MP server or anything like that. So, kind of where I'm stuck at. Single player for right now. And pretty much wait until winter. Winter comes around, then I should have plenty of time. Old Iron, you mean to sell on this map or to like release and use on any map? Because I'm not going to move these buildings any farther. I'd like to leave them here in No Creek. If you guys want to pull them out and make them into a pack and release them, do you, but I got enough buildings so far the way it is to build a farm. These are actually, uh, I want to say CBJs. I believe all of them but the main shop is CBJ's from 15 and that's why I think a lot of them need to stay where they're at. If I ever, my plans for the winter are to learn Blender when I have time to just sit down with nothing else really going on but going to work and I want to learn Blender. I won't convert these buildings, I'll start over from scratch and remake them and bring them up to the standards like uh, Western Iowa Modding's buildings and um, legacies, TPFs, and also make them work with Thunder's script that allows you to do the colors. Because I really like the sizes of the buildings. I like the designs of them, but the textures just need to be updated.
Hey, quit it. Messing up buttons. Nice, Cody. Um, this one. All right, so I just want to say it is not my map. It is by No Creek. Uh, I'm not shaming you guys or anything by saying it is mine. But uh, I don't want to take credit for his detail on his map. I just brought it forth to 22. But honestly, this map was made in northern... Northwest Missouri, chill coffee, just just uh, northwest of Medicine Creek. So you got a lot of terrain features and the wooded areas around the river and everything. No, you're good, Cody. I just wanted to make it clear with the guys that don't know. It's nothing bad. Pleasant, I usually run course play on the combine, and auto drive was ticking me off with this tractor, so now I'm doing it. Um, Real quick here, guys. I got to go take a leak. And talk to the woman. So you get to watch the combine for a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, ladies. Hmm. Started a new land. All right. Where are we at? Oh yeah, he's full. I got a few things. I need to get taken care of here this afternoon guys so pretty much going to be wrapping it up 
and calling it a night. Didn't quite make it to my three hour mark like I tried to, but uh, I gotta get these things taken care of. And yeah, I'll try to do some videos during the week and whatnot. Keep you guys in touch on what I'm doing here on the save. And plan on another live stream, hopefully Sunday, unless I go riding dirt bikes somewhere. More than likely not, but I'll try to be around. So, once again, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys.